Yo, uh, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sasuke here with a video here today because a brand new video and also a brand new series of revamping or like redesigning my fans, PSDs or projects, whatever the title is of the video. That's what's happening here today. So basically I have three different people I'm gonna be editing and just like redoing their projects. So I have like a cool header, a cool advertiser design, and then I think another is another header. Yeah, but they're all like different designs, different ideas, and different kind of things that are implemented in the actual video. So hopefully you guys learn some tips, some tricks, all that good stuff. So with that being said, this is my last video in New York. I have my last week here. Here, my last weekend so I'm gonna enjoy it enjoy myself enjoy it with my family before I go back to LA and get back on the grind so with that being said I'll touch you guys in a bit hope you guys do enjoy the new video and uh, yeah let me know Oh, and one other thing, if you guys actually submit, you have to join my Discord, discord.gg slash sesohq, where I'll be taking some of the things in the critique area, where basically kind of people that like to showcase their own work, I end up asking for the PSD, and that's how I'm gonna be basically going about it. So if I find something I wanna look at, I wanna be like, ooh, it inspires me to try to like revamp it in a cool way, that is how I'm gonna be doing it. So if you guys wanna participate, eh, participate, that's how I'm gonna be doing it. So discord.gg slash sesohq one more time, and uh, now, enjoy the video. All right, guys, this is the first design I actually have pulled up. I'm going to put the tag of the person who it is on the bottom right so you guys can know who it is. I believe his name is Enigma, but if I am wrong, I'll have the tag down there for you guys to go ahead and just follow him and, and show him some love over there. But overall, I have this concept in front of me. It's for a Toronto Ultra Esports organization. I'm just going to go ahead and say well, automatically, like, the design itself is actually super clean, super dope, and it has, like, you know, a, a dope kind of atmosphere and feel to it. I think what I'm going to end up doing here is kind of like working with the actual values of the black and whites of the actual players themselves. I feel like they're a little bit too flat in the sense where the actual highlights and the shadows don't really have a definition. Maybe you can fix the glow a little bit because I believe the glow might be too undertone and it's kind of picking up like a weird sort of like grainish kind of feeling to you can kind of see on, on I don't know his, this person's name, but you kind of see on his head here. And uh, overall, I think the, the, sen the sense of this background here is a little bit too sort of dark. Right, they're kind of very, very, very similar. So where if this actual uh, purple uh, highlight, right, or a stroke wasn't around them, this value of tone would be so, so close that it would feel a little bit kind of uh, too muddy, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see if I can fix something like that. So um, first things first, I think I'm gonna add, like I said, a little more value to the actual black and white uh, scheme here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna click on the actual player itself, go to file, or excuse me, filter. Uh, camera raw filter and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in use the Y for before and after and I'm gonna go ahead and put the clarity up just a little bit automatically right kind of see it's kind of sharpening it up a little bit I'll even go ahead and go to sharpening right I also took the luminance as well luminance detail blow the luminance just a little bit more right trying to make the picture a little more sharp so you can kind of see on this side over here it's a little bit blurry but over here it's a little more sharp even maybe even a little bit too sharp so I'm gonna take the radius down just a little bit but I think that's pretty good so far, right? But I'm gonna end up doing for sure is taking the highlight, not going too crazy where it's super like washed out. I'm gonna go around like a 20 or 15 mark. We'll take the shadows, bring this up. So if I bring the shadows up, you guys can notice you'll see more of the actual sweater, more of the creases. So I'm gonna bring that up as well with the shadows here, right? We'll take the whites, put it up as, as well. Now if I lower the blacks, you can still see the creases, right? But lowering the black tones are actually kind of even it out, make it look a little more like, how do you say? Just, you know, kind of make it more seamless and uh, all that good stuff. So I think right around here, I'm pretty satisfied with this. We just want a little bit more of a, a difference. So I'm going to say not 10, but I'll go with like 6. I think 6 will be pretty perfect. I think so. So when I do all these other people now, I'm going to do that right now. I think it's just going to look a little more more attractive in the sense of, of having a lot of focus on the actual players. I'm going to do the same exact thing with all these people over here. All right, so now that we're done with this, I'm going to go with this glow over here and take this blend if I realize it is underneath. We're going to take it only on this layer, kind of soften that up a little bit just like so. I actually got to copy this layer style. It'll actually copy the actual, uh, how do you say, the actual blend if. So I'm going to go to all these other ones over here. I think over here, we can take this one and soften up just a little bit more for this specific light right over here. I think that looks pretty good. So. I'm gonna go ahead now, and I'm gonna add a little bit of a white in here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, right, this is the background is, okay? And we're gonna give ourselves a nice silver like white top layer. So I'm gonna erase it back, just like so. It gives ourselves a nice little white top layer. But what I'm gonna end up doing is on this thing here, which I think is the logo, I'm gonna say we just X'd it from the top, right? We're gonna just X that from the top, I think. But I did notice it says ultra here. So I'm gonna take this, we're gonna say okay. Make sure we take the Arame font, Arame, make this black, right? So it says Ultra here. I think I'm actually going to put the word Toronto because I think it's a little more longer in this case, Toronto, right? 
And the reason why I'm gonna do Toronto instead of like Ultra is because it kind of fills more of the space. The word is a little more longer, has more characters. So that's what I'm gonna end up putting in the background there because I think it also is a nice kind of touch, to be honest. Lower the opacity a little bit to kind of just let it sit as it is, right? Nice and neutral. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put a layer mask. Um, okay, what I'm noticing immediately as well is that these sponsor logos here, on this one at least, for sure, right, is like messed up. I guess where he cut it out, he didn't kind of fix this portion here. This kind of stuff really, really matters. When it comes to sponsor logos on the banner, so when it comes to branding guidelines, the person's uh, logo or the company's logo, excuse me, always has a specific color scheme that you have to go with no matter what, so that it's easily recognizable. So the fact that it's not cut out perfectly here, Scuff might look at that and be like, yo, what the, like, this is not perfect. This needs to be a little bit better. This is what we pay you guys for. If you guys want to do this kind of stuff, make sure you kind of keep them all in the same playing field, unless told otherwise. Now it's no longer kind of like hidden in a sense, but kind of more just like, hey, we're here. We have a nice little spot for you guys, and it kind of fits pretty well. We can make these a little bit smaller. And I think only the last things I would do is I just kind of make these a little more skinnier. I think we should also change this to be a little more of a lighter tone. So I'm going to say, yo, bring this up a little bit. That'll kind of separate the background from the actual uh, people as well. And I think it looks pretty freaking dope. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty dope. So if I want to even go a little extra, right, I'm going to bring this picture into Illustrator. Okay. Reason being is I'm going to use an Illustrator technique known as image trace. And we're going to go with black and white. We're gonna go with black and white logo. We're also gonna ignore white. Right now, if we drag it back in, well, what's gonna happen here is if I get rid of this, so you have the gradient still there, you have this cool little black and white simplized version or simpled version of um, the buildings in the background still pointing out, which I think is pretty freaking cool. A nice, simple little touch that can go a long way. You know, it's kind of bleed in the two. And I think this is pretty much where I'm gonna end it off. So right on the screen, you should kind of see a before and an after, and I think it's a pretty cool little touch. Like I said before, the original versions are never gonna be this sort of like, this is wrong. It's more just like what I would end up doing for me to kind of touch it up and or just fix ideas that I would like to kind of see. So with that being said, let's move on to the next one because I think this is pretty much done. And I think it looks pretty freaking cool. You guys let me know in the comments below and hopefully you guys help you out with some tips as well. So let's go and move to the next one. All right, guys, so I'm back. It's a, it was probably like five hours the last one that I did, but we are now finally here for the Sparkling Ice, I guess, poster slash advertising by Jayhawk. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool, I think. I think in this sense here, the only thing that's kind of struggling for me is the perspective of the sky, the sort of lighting on the actual can itself and sort of the actual ocean. And then I have this weird sort of, uh, or then he has this weird sort of like, Area going on. Oh, it's gr oh, it's grainy too. Yeah, that's a no bueno. For me. I thought it was just low quality. It's actually just grain. I don't know about putting grain on advertising where you're talking about like water and sunshine. I'm not sure if those two things correlate, but hey, you know. But he has this sort of like thing in the background here too. Text. Okay, so it's text. Um, first off, we're gonna focus on taking off these color corrections. Looks like using a color correction pack. Might I say, color correction packs are cool. Sure. But the thing is, if you don't like, when you're doing a manipulation, you want to make sure you you have absolute focus or absolute control of what's happening throughout the actual manipulation, right? Let's start off with actually taking the can. Okay, we're going to make it a smart object. We're going to use a, uh, a layer. What do you call it? A layer mask. There you go. And you see this sort of edge here? That's an awkward edge for me. That's sort of an edge that it kind of looks like it's very obvious that it wasn't cut out right. So I'm going to take this edge with this layer mask and take a black brush. Right, I'm going to click once right here. I'm going to hold shift. Not holding shift, yeah, but hold shift now, click again. That'll make a straight line for my last point that I clicked on, right? So now that edge is kind of gone, it looks a little more clear, right? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into filter, camera raw filter, and let's mess out the color correction of this. Just like that for right now, I think that's a pretty solid, solid concept there. One thing that's also kind of making me a little upset in the sense of like what's messing with my brain is the sky perspective. I think here, I think a sky perspective, something around here, might make a little bit more sense. Um, okay, so that's right there, and then I'm already starting to get a little more adult vibe. One thing I don't enjoy right now is the fact that this has this weird sort of fish tank looking through, not really in the ocean. So if it was in the ocean, I feel like if the person was taking a picture, it might you won't you won't really see a horizon line. So what I'm gonna actually end up doing here, right for this water, let's take this, right? Actually, let's take this. Let's use the layer mask so we don't fuck up. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take this, right? And we're gonna get in here and just erase it a little bit. 
Cool, I think that works right here. So I got rid of the actual water, right? So what I'm gonna do now with that hard edge line, I think it looks a little more smoother. Um, I mean, I guess it's personal preference at that point, but one thing I wasn't a fan of for sure is the fact that this liquid, right, also kind of just sits, you know, on the, on the sky. So we're gonna take this and move this more closer in the actual can itself. Make sure we have that can sweating as much as it would like to be. And I think that's a pretty good look there. Okay, so we're gonna actually take this, erase this one. I do believe I have another one here just in case, and I do. So we're gonna take this, drag it down here, and now we have at least another different blueberry or raspberry that, so it just looks a little bit better, right? So I guess first things first is, let's go ahead and tone this raspberry color down. We're gonna go to camera raw filter. Okay, so I got as close as I wanted to get close of, so I'm actually gonna do immediately now is put on a, a exposures, right? I'm gonna take the exposure, lower this down, just like so. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to this one over here and use the same exact amount, just taking a duplicate of it. And then what I'm gonna do on this exposure table or tab here is realistic, if the light's kind of coming down, we're gonna get a little realistic, I'm not the best at lighting, but if the light's coming down, it really shouldn't really hit right here. But I think all around here, you should definitely still have light hitting and casting on the actual um, blueberries and raspberries themselves, blue raspberries themselves. Same thing with, I guess, over here, right? And I think that looks pretty good. I still think the fact is that the color is not exactly right. So I'm gonna kind of fix the color a little bit as well. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. In my opinion, I'm gonna say that's pretty, pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of this logo kind of sitting here, but I really actually do not know where to honestly put it. I think the logo is just really awkward in my opinion. So I'm just gonna say whatever to that. But I also think the lighting here over here can be a little bit different as well. I think over here, I'm gonna try some lighting effects to kind of just say, hey, yo, big shine right here, right? We'll use linear dodge add. Let's also still put the shadow on the other side as well. So I'm not gonna use pure black. I'm gonna use a blue, but a very like, or, or sort of a black, like super dark blue basically, right? Take this and really get this side kind of like, yo, this is, you know, this is supposed to be dark, bro, you know? So I'm gonna take this, load the opacity down. I think that's pretty good. But we don't wanna make it so obvious that this is obvious. Like we're trying to like make it super like realistic light wise, uh, because of course we wanna mention the fact that the focus still is this cool um, can. But I also remembered this guy had a, this, this kind of text. What if I put the text in the water? Eh? Eh? Did he think, I wonder if he thought of this, to be honest. I'm gonna put the text in the water because the water is kind of, is the space for all this sort of blueberry-esque idea. And maybe we take this and we can put this like, I don't know, I don't know where to put this logo. I can't lie, Sparkling Ice's logo is not it. I don't know where to put it. Okay, I think I'm just gonna end this one off right around where it's just gonna put maybe like a glow, or not a glow, but maybe like a little bit of Gaussian blur, like a very minimal one pixel Gaussian blur, take the eraser, and really just allow the focus to sit right here in the middle. Camera raw filter, and we're just gonna take and just do a simple little color correction to kind of end it all off. Okay, and I think this is pretty much it. I think I'm gonna end it right here on this one. So I'm gonna say, yo, uh, what is it, F12 to revert? I mean, you can see what's kind of happening here, and you can see my version I copied and pasted over. So you can see kind of like how I wanted to put some more emphasis on the actual blue raspberries on the bottom. I took the text out of the sky because it was kind of a little bit messy in my opinion, and kind of muddy, really wasn't able to be seen. But if it's in the water, you kind of kind of see blueberry and have it be some more suggestive to the actual blueberries on the bottom, or blue raspberries, I keep saying blueberries. But uh, for the most part, I'll pop up, uh, pop up the actual final image right here, and that's pretty much what I ended up doing. If I did any more little tweaks, like I said, it's probably like a little glow. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the actual last one, maybe last one, I think this is the last one of the video, and uh, see what you guys think. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into the last one here. We have a frosty, I'm guessing, Valorant character, um, jet-inspired header here. And right off the bat, the things I kind of notice is she's a little bit, it feels like she's a little bit off in the sense of uh, her color correction, or maybe it's just the white balance, something like that. So I'm gonna try to use a white balance on her immediately. I like the idea of the cool, sort of like jagged, sort of, not jagged, but repeating pattern, the words jet. Um, I just feel like it doesn't have much contrast over there, and it kind of feels a little bit lost, in my opinion. Um, also, immediately, you can probably notice that this gradient is definitely negative. So I believe his name is what, Rafnik? 
Rathnik, I'm probably saying it terribly wrong. You'll see his socials in the bottom right if you guys would like to uh, check him out. But yeah, I could, I could just say I could, this is going to be simple to kind of revamp and, and elevate in my idea or my kind of perspective. So let's just start off immediately by changing his gradient. And I believe, right, he see, what the heck is that? Immediately, all I can say is this is just inverted. I, he might have gone for that look, but I just think reverse it. Look, you can start seeing shapes in actual kind of formation. So I'm going to get rid of that completely. Um, ah, let's actually just go ahead and say, let's actually leave this a little bit darker. And let's start working on the left hand side for a second. So before I even work on the right, uh, left hand side, I think like the outer glow, what is this? Oh, there's like electricity stuff. I didn't even notice that. Oh, it's a little bit awkward on the, uh, the cuts here. If you have little cuts like this, just take an eraser, right? Or use a layer mask like I'm about to do. Use a layer mask, right? Get a nice small brush hardness pretty up there and just kind of give it a little, a little sharpen, right? So it's not awkward. So I'm gonna say these over here. Let's go ahead and fix these, right? I would even say, let's bring some of these in the front of Jet, right? Let's give it a little crazy, like big electricity here. We'll even warp it as well to give it a little bit more of a theme going on here. Like it's maybe going around her, right? So I think as well, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of a blue tone here. Let's just use a blue tone, nice soft brush and give some of these areas above here a little bit of more of a glow. So it kind of feels a lot more just like electricity is really flowing. There's a lot of energy moving around. Let's go ahead and go to Jet for a second. Let's go into Filter, Camera Raw Filter here. Okay, so it's not all that bad actually. It might be a, a color balance. Oh, it's color balance. It is color balance. Let's take the color balance off. Oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> All right, so this is way better, okay? This, we start, we're starting off on a better foot, I think, in my opinion. The color balance is a little awkward. So let's go ahead and just make a new layer. Right above it, we're gonna split this left side in half. I mean, the gray tone maybe at this point is no longer kind of fitting. So let's go with a more of a white. Okay, so let's say, let's make this text over here a little bit more consistent. So he used a different text on the right-hand side that I think than the left-hand side. I might be wrong. Let's just go ahead and just try really quick. Put this at zero. Let's type in frosty, right? It is definitely different. So I'm gonna say, yo, let's keep it consistent. Let's add the same frosty text, right? And this font's actually pretty good for us. I'm gonna use a skew to kind of give it a little bit more of a, a hard kind of like quick edge. So the way I did that was control T, right click and skew and just kind of take it, hold alt on this anchor and move it forward. So right here, he kind of has like a slash going through. We can do that as well. Let's kind of do the slash as well. Let's do the slash. Let's go ahead and make it a stroke as well. Boom. And I think for this stroke, let's change the background color now. So let's go ahead and just use a different blue. So he used a different blue. I'm gonna try to get the same exact blue of some sort. And I'm just gonna take this, cut this out. Cool. Now I got a cut out of the knife. We'll take the knife and say, yo, the knife is going through the word. Let's add a little bit of a theme to it. Take the word frosty, right? We'll take it so it should be bigger to smaller, I think, when it's like more of like this kind of strike, right? We're not gonna do like a, an even cut throughout the entire thing, but to say, yo, boom, it's striking through, right? And we'll delete it with a layer mask just by pressing delete on our keyboard or, oh, that's why, this needs to be black, there you go. Perfect, now we have the word frosty kind of slicing through. Let's also make sure this is kind of matching the same angle still, boom. That's pretty freaking cool, I think. All right, I'm also not, yeah, I'm just not the fan of like this. Let's go ahead and tune this, let's tone this left-hand side up a little bit. Okay, I think I just toned the left-hand side up. I think you're just gonna use one text and use a stroke because we don't want to really use two fills because that kind of takes power or uh, how do you say, something away from the actual frosty original kind of main text. We're not gonna really take too much from that. And I also think it just kind of makes it look a little bit more, just, it looks dope. So I'm not, I'm not the biggest, like, I'm not turned off by this. I think this is definitely the left-hand side is where I want it to be. Right, and I think last but not least what I'm end up doing is I'm using a new layer again with using a color from the actual banner itself a nice darker tone color Click once around jet linear dodge add that Right, I think it's a little bit too green so make sure it's a little bit more bluish tone Right just by using the hue saturation table by pressing control U my keyboard then I'll take this Warp this around right give it a little bit more light And I would say yo even I think we just kind of finalize this blue over here to be closer to more of like a darker blue Right, okay, then we take this, click on this nice darker blue uh, tone, click in the middle, just like so, boom, right? And then I'll use a color balance just like he did, but now that everything is actually matching, when I open and use color balance, it'll really kind of change everything all at the same time and really give you a more cohesive idea and look. 
And I think, yo, we're gonna finalize it by control shift clicking, control shift E using a smart object to merge all into one single layer. And I'm gonna take a nice clarity, bring this up as well. Take the blacks, bring it down. Shadows, bring it up. Highlights, bring it up. Highlights as well again. Use a little bit more clarity. I would say our face is a little bit washed out. So we take the highlights, bring it down a little bit more and press OK. And I think we got ourselves a pretty solid revamp banner where I really just use his theme, but just toned down the colors a little bit more, made it more cohesive of the idea and really don't really mess with the actual jet character render, right? I'll put it up side by side. You can see the difference. And I think that's pretty freaking clear. It's just really dope. His idea was also super cool as well. I just took his idea, elevated it, made it even more simpler in the sense of the text effect itself. And uh, just let just let the jet character and render fly. So yeah, homies, friends, a different type of video here today. More of just like this walkthrough idea of how I would elevate. That way you guys just find, I just try to pick three different, completely different things and topics and ideas that you guys can really like hold on to and enjoy. And uh, hopefully find connections between whether or not if you can see your designs in what I revamped today and put that towards what you're gonna be doing later on, you know, in future projects. So yeah, if you guys love the series, this is episode one, let me know with a like and just a comment down below. And also if you guys wanna join my Discord, I'll put the Discord down below in the description for you guys to click on and join. So that way you guys can also participate and bring in your images in the series update panel. You'll see like the channel, I'll make it very obvious for you guys, but yeah. With that being said, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Sense of HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking better, guys. Later. Much love. Peace.